Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this squishy turtle uploaded by Jake Jake. First thing we do is we go down to developer notes to see if they have any specifications or recommendations. And they say that this print requires no glue whatsoever. So that's a plus for me, meaning the assembly will require no extra additional parts and that he doesn't recommend brim for the model. Although some parts may benefit from it. Because if you use a brim, it might be a little hard to remove and it may add some friction to the model. Because this turtle does slide, the head will slide back and forth and the legs will go up and down. And I'm assuming with the head, if you add a brim and if you don't take it off properly or sand it, you'll do some friction. I mean, the head will be a little harder to move in and out. So once you're ready, click on the download all files up here. And once you do, you're gonna get a folder similar to this. There's gonna be a lot of STLs here, but don't be overwhelmed. We're gonna need five total. The ones you are 100% gonna need is gonna be the bottom STL. So we're gonna hold the control button and click. So bottom STL, we need the H clip. And now we need to select the head. Now, some people say in the comments that they've had issues with the sliding head where it's too rough and too hard to move back and forth. And that's why the developer made different sized uh, little neck pieces, I guess. He made, them, he made some thicker and some more narrow. Now, head is the regular one that I recommend for the original size print. And then there's also head nine head eight five eight head uh nine five and the, that's just what percentage the actual stem is how narrow it is now i recommend if you're going to print this at a hundred percent scale so you're not going to make it smaller or bigger and if you have a pretty good calibrated printer use the head stl so this one right here if you are going to print it at a smaller scale let's say 75 percent I highly recommend you go down to head 0.9. So if you're going to make it smaller, go to head uh, head 9. Now, if you have a if you want to print a net regular scale, but your printer is not well calibrated, I would probably say stick with head 95 and try that. You can always reprint this. It's a it's a pretty quick print for just the head. So up to you on what you, what you want to print. Don't think it's life or death if you don't uh, get the correct one first because you can always reassemble everything. But like I said, if you're doing it at an original scale and you have a pretty good calibrated printer, just use the regular head STL. And then finally, you have to select one of these tops. Now there's a bunch of these here that you can select from. If you want to preview them, just click on them, double click, and Windows will open the regular STL viewer so, you know, take a look, you can use any of these. So whatever you like, whatever you fancy, just click on it and drag that in there as well. So once again, you're gonna select these two, whatever head you're comfortable with on the narrow side and whatever top. Now I like the spiky top, so I'm gonna use that one. So click and hold on this and drag it to your slicer of choice, but hold on. Like I said, we need five STLs, but we only have four. And that's because we need another H clip. We need two total H clips for this. So just click and hold on it and drag it again uh, inside. And you should have a total of five STLs. So the yeah, just make sure you have the two H clips. Once everything finishes loading in, we can now start messing with the settings. So first, we're going to select a profile, which is our layer height. And I recommend a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. You can go finer if you want, like a 0.16, but uh, up to you on what you want to print it with. Now, 0.2 is more than fine, it will give you adequate quality. If this pops up, simply click on the discard button. That will erase all previous profile modifications. We're not going to mess with anything in the shell settings, neither the infill, but we are going to go down to the supports. 
and developers said no support for this, so do make sure that this is unchecked, because we do not need support for this model. Build plate adhesion, the developer said no build plate adhesion, he does not recommend it. Now the stem right here, which is the head, may benefit from it, and, and it definitely will benefit from build plate adhesion if you have poor adhesion. You see there's very low contact area with, uh, with respect to the actual stem, which is pretty long. So this may wobble over. So once again, try not to use any build plate adhesion, but if you absolutely have to, and let's say you know your bed's not gonna, your bed doesn't like to adhere to the prints or whatnot. So in that case, what I recommend is that you print everything else without any build plate adhesion, and you delete this uh, stem, and then you slice it again. So you're gonna open up Cure again and bring in just the head, and then add a brim to the head. Now, if you do that, you have to be very, very careful whenever you remove the brim. Make sure you sand everything and that everything's smooth. Because if you don't, then the head might have some troubles going in and out. So, once again, try not to add a brim. So, make sure that this is uh, set to skirt or none. And once you're done with that, you're set to go. Simply click on the blue slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. Once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 6 hours and 14 minutes, but that will depend on the printer you are using, as well as the settings you selected, as well as a estimated filament usage of 33 grams. Now we always preview the print and take a look around, see if anything weird or funky is going on, and everything looks perfectly normal, so save the file and send it over to your printer. First step in the assembly is to make sure you have all parts required. You should have the head, the shell, the legs, and the two H clips. Next, you're going to grab the body and gently push on the legs such that all of them can move freely. Now, these are very delicate and gentle, so be careful because you can break them pretty easily. Next, you're going to grab the head and align it with the body and make sure that it does slide freely. This is especially important if you do want the head to move back and forth. If the head does not slide smoothly, try sanding it or printing a more narrow head. You're also going to repeat this process with the top part of the shell, making sure that it, once again it does slide pretty smoothly. This may be a little tricky because there's a pin that's sticking out into the groove. So just try to force that pin in until the head does align perfectly and slide smoothly. Next, we're going to place the H-clips in the body of the model. You're going to notice that the H-clips have a curvature on one side, and we're going to make sure that curvature is aligned with the wall of the body. Simply nudge the H-clip inside and make sure that it is aligned with the curvature of the body. This will definitely be tricky if your printer didn't print it completely smooth, and if you printed the model a little bit too small. Just take your time and try to align everything as best as you can. Even though it may not be in the perfect position, try to slide one leg in and then push the other one into place. And don't worry, these H clips are pretty strong, so they may be a little harder to break. In worst case scenario, you can always print some more as they're a pretty quick and easy print. Next, you're going to slide the head in in between both H clips and make sure that your head still slides pretty smoothly. There might be some friction, but that's more than fine. Our last step is going to be to align everything and attach the shell. Now first, make sure the tail is not sticking out from the body. And next, we are going to align the shell. In order to attach the shell, make sure the H clips are directly on top of the hole on the shell. Take a look through the side of the model like I'm doing to make sure that it is aligned. And you're going to repeat this process with the other side as well making sure that the H clips are still aligned. Finally, you're going to take a look at the back of the model and make sure the tail does fit in the groove 
and simply give it a nice hard push to snap it into place. This will take multiple attempts, but take your time and go nice and slow, and then finally you should have the turtle fully assembled. Here's the model fully assembled. This is definitely a very creative print and very fun to play with as well. It is squishy as in you can push on the shell and it will go down because of the legs, how they uh, bend outwards, basically giving the illusion that it is being squished. You can also push the head back and forth and if you push the head back in, you can push it back out by pushing on the tail on the opposite side. Once again, definitely a very fun and creative model, so if you do want one, I highly recommend you print one.